In this video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at the Osprey Ultralight Stuff Duffel. Head on over to packhacker.com for more information and best buying options, link in the description below. So this is obviously the uh, duffel in its packed form, just to show you how small it is here. Uh, this is a 30 liter duffel, so it packs down pretty small for that. Um, you got a couple different options here, so you can hang it up if you need to here or clip it to something else. Um, or you have this little, uh, this is the key clip when it's inside the bag, I'll show you, but uh, you can use this to clip it to something. Uh, I would probably be more inclined to clip it with a carabiner to this. This is just a little too flimsy uh, to really trust it to clip it to the outside of a bag. Uh, there's a chance if you bumped into something, this might come apart. Uh, so yeah, use this as more of a hard point if you want to attach it to the outside of your bag. So let's open this up. So don't worry about the how wrinkly it is. That's just kind of how these work um, when you are deploy them. Um, after it's out for a little bit, all these kind of just like fall away and it's just a very nice looking bag. Um, it's a 40D ripstop on the outside here. Uh, so you can see, I mean, like it's not super thick. You can see my hand through it, but it's a uh, very durable for how thin it is. And uh, yeah, very lightweight, super uh, water resistant. So this will be good. You know, you can basically lock this up and this will be a good, uh, it's not obviously completely waterproof, but most of the water will beat off the sides of it here. So a uh, great feature there. Um, but yeah, not too much going on here. Uh, obviously, if there was too, a lot going on here, you wouldn't be able to pack it up so small. Uh, you know, this is just a great add-on if you, you know, are out traveling and you have like a backpack or a suitcase or roller luggage or something, but you still want sort of like a gym bag um, while you're out, you can just, you know, crunch this up, deploy it when you need it, and it's good to go. Um, but yeah, the side pocket here, so this is the uh, what it compresses into. A lot of these kind of bags, they'll have this on the inside. This becomes the outside. We like that a little bit better. It becomes like the quick grab pocket on the outside of this bag. Uh, so that's a nice little touch there. And then, like I said, this cube pocket, this is a little bit better on the inside. So clip your keys on there, throw them in there. Um, but yeah, just be careful with throwing your keys and your phone in the same pocket uh, for quick grab stuff like that. Uh, you don't want to scratch it up or just make sure you got a good case on it. And then opposite of that, we have a little mesh pocket. Um, this would be good if you wanted to throw like a raincoat or something in here. I would be a little wary of putting anything too small in there uh, just because it's just kind of loose floating in there. There's no zipper, there's no Velcro or anything. So uh, just kind of be wary of what you put in there. Anything smaller might fall out. And the shoulder strap here, from being crunched up, you can see it's like a little bit, uh, kind of got that cooked bacon look of just being a little uh, wonky there. Um, but this is just a nice little padded strap here just to give you a little bit more support if you really load this bag out. Uh, some nice foam there, pretty decently thick uh, for the size. And then it's very breathable. Got that nice mesh flow going in there. Um, but yeah, really other than that, there's not too much going on. The main compartment is just a main compartment, no other little features or anything in here, which again, for just a little quick deploy duffel, uh, you wouldn't really want too much in here because uh, that'll just add to the bulk when you pack it up. But this is just a nice little companion piece that you can use, uh, you know, just in day to day. If uh, you have a larger suitcase and you just want to kind of, you know, just go out for uh, to the gym or something while you're traveling 
or if you just need to run to like the market or something, uh, this will hold a decent amount for its size. And so it's a yeah, great add on to your travel kit. So there you have it. That was our quick look review of the Osprey Ultralight Stuff Duffel. For more information and the best buying options, head on over to packhacker.com. And if you'd like to see more in-depth reviews and broader Packhacker content, then make sure to check out our main channel too.